Here I am, Frank at One More Taco TV. You're approaching a restaurant I haven't tried up yet. It's called uh, Vallarta Express. Now, while I wait for my taco to be served to me, I just want to let you know where the location of this restaurant is. It is on uh, Jackson and Center Drive in La Mesa. If you're familiar with the area, there is the Grossmont uh, Mall. It's sitting right behind me over here. And we have Fairmont, uh, it's just to the north here. Now, there are two things, actually several things that I, t I judge a taco on, whether I like it or not. Of course, number one, the tortilla. How fresh is the tortilla? Number two, of course, the meat. That's if you're, what you're going to order. In this case, it'll be carne asada. It'll be carnitas, which is some kind of a, a pork, sautéed pork. And number three, whatever goes along with those things, such as the lettuce, cabbage, uh, and whatever salsa, like pico de gallo is included with that. The other thing to keep in mind too is what other refreshments do they serve or complement what they are serving with their meal? So whether you're going to order some fries or you're going to order some uh, red white beans and rice on the side. Okay, let's see. As I was saying, also, what kind of drinks would you like to have with your meal? Whether you're going to have soft drinks or you're going to have like, like uh, soda pop from soda pop machine or whether you're going to have one of the refreshing fruit drinks that they have or the, the jamaica or chata or piña which is a pineapple fruit drink what do they have to complement the meal and uh, is there anything special about uh, their drinks or a particular way that they make your taco wow this looks incredible already here we have the carnita taco I know the presentation isn't fantastic because of the, it's in a to-go container, but that's only because of what's going on right now with COVID. Uh, people are pretty much have to eat outside on a to-go type basis, but man, do they give you a ton of salsas here, both red, uh, which is my favorite, and green as well. Well, let's try the carnitas taco first. First of all, I just want to say, you know, this taco looks delicious. I like the crunchiness, the crunchy bits. Mmm, and the pork they have. And in this particular restaurant, uh, they add pico de gallo, they also add guacamole, excellent. And also, it uh, looks like some uh, cilantro. Very tasty, just give it a shot without salsa first. Okay, oh yeah, how do I even begin to eat this taco? This taco is so stuffed. First of all, it's made uh, with two tortillas, which I think it's an excellent idea, idea since the taco is so huge. Let's see if I can get this into my fat face. Bon appetit. Mmm. And since we're talking about Mexican food, maybe I should say, I should say buen provecho. Mmm. <laughs> my mouthfeel is great. You can taste the crispiness of the fried pork in there for the carnitas. The ingredients such as the salsa, pico de gallo, uh, with the tomatoes and the guacamole are fresh. Mm, excellent choice. <laughs> Honestly, this carnitas taco, it's so full of meat and it's huge. You know, I ordered two tacos, but really, you only need one taco to make a meal of it. But who knows, maybe you're hungrier than I am. So if you ever find yourself in La Mesa, California, and you need to get something right off the, the freeway by Grossmont Mall, head over here to Vallarta Express. It's a good location right off the highway. You're also located right next to a Starbucks if you want to get something else that long to go with it. <clears throat> mm. Very good taco though. Anyways, I'll get back to you just as I try the salsa on this. And just like the other taco, it was overstuffed. And definitely one taco would have provided what an, an easy meal for one person. 
food tacos, I'm really pushing it. <laughs> I also want to mention in the future, sporadically, after I do a taco review, I will be cooking or attempting to cook the same taco that I'm eating for you so you can see how you prepare it, how you make the salsa, etc. Well, until next time, be good to each other, be kind, do good things for each other. Peace.